Welcome HQTs! Your afternoon just got even more awesome, didn't it? First off, I've got breaking news for you. Despite their crazy chemistry on stage at the Oscars, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are not, I repeat, not in love. Friend of the show Jimmy Kimmel got to the bottom of things. He asked Gaga about the intimate moment and she said it was all just for show. But Bradley still looked pretty goo goo over Gaga, right? I'll tell you something, HQTs. Find yourself someone who looks at you like that, acting or not. I'm Sharon Carbon, your googly eyed presenter, sending you affection from your phone's epicenter. And we're in deep to season two, counting down to the big season finale taking place this. Sunday, can't wait, and it's time to check in on that prize right now. Let's see how it's coming along. OMG, it now stands at $121,044. Nothing shallow about that massive pot of cash, that's for sure. Remember, you've only got a few more days to level up. For every point earned by players, the prize will get even bigger until the season finale. So stay tuned to find out just how high it's going to go. This is how you win points, by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Those points help you reach levels, leveling up gives you free passes, a free pass keeps you in the game even when you get a question wrong. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Have any of you made it to level 10 yet? Let me know in the chat right now, because if you hit level 10, it means you only have to answer a couple of questions right to win HQ for the rest of the season. Easy peasy after that. Today you are playing for $2,500, enough to fill any void that you've got. It's a nice chunk of change right there. Plus, for each point you earn today, we're going to multiply it by, not two, but by three. Yeah, we're feeling super generous. That's sure to help you level up in the game today. Now keep an eye out for those special point multipliers happening all week long. And remember this season we're giving away even more bucks than we did the last time. So you better be ready for Sunday's big finale. It's going to be absolutely epic. Extra lives. They're awesome and can keep you around. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. An extra life means even when you get a question wrong, you can still play. If you play HQ five days in a row, you will score one for free. Use it on any round aside from the final one, round 12, not gonna work. Now, tonight, we're taking a journey to Gondor and Mordor. The Eye of Sauron is watching you, so make sure you join us for Lord of the Rings trivia. Going to be quite the adventure, I promise you that. See you at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Exciting stuff. Okay, it's about that time to take to the stage and show us how much you really love trivia. We're off the deep end, so let's dive right in. It's time to get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. What is the common place for keeping money? Piggy bank, monkey slide, zebra pit. Depends how long you want to keep it, I guess. You really want to hold on to it. If you keep your cash in the zebra pit, you can say bye-bye to those bucks. You don't want to know what goes on in there. So store it in a piggy bank instead to be on the safe side. 184,000 of you are hoping to make it to the bank today. Those poor piggies, they have a hard life. They don't end up as bacon smashed to smithereens for money. Q2, which of these words rhymes with pot? Trap, tart, wrapped. He's got the rhyming skills here. Maybe drop 16 bars for us. Hope you didn't go for trap because that was one. Chocolate, treacle or goat cheese, please. Pot, of course, rhymes with tart. That wasn't too difficult. 181,000 of you with the sweet answer there. Not sour. We had fun with wordplay here. Trap is part backwards and wrapped is an anagram of pot. It means completely fascinated, like you are with me. Admit it. Q3. Which of these metals is strongly attracted to magnets? Sodium, iron, aluminum, or aluminium as we'd say in the UK. We're all strongly attracted to Jason Momoa. Those who tap sodium are about to feel pretty salty right now, getting rid of the creases here. Let's iron it out. 
Iron is the answer that we were looking for, and you flattened that one, 157,000 of you did. This metal is so magnetic that lots of magnets are made out of it. Even the Earth's magnetic field owes itself to the massive amount of iron on the planet. Interesting stuff. Q4. The newest trailer for a film in what superhero franchise features the character Jean Grey? X-Men, Avengers, Incredibles. A really awesome trailer. No relation to Macy Gray here, by the way. We're not quite sure whether Jean is a goodie or a baddie, but either way, she's pretty damn cool. Can't wait for the Dark Phoenix to rise. It's the X-Men, the latest X-Men movie coming soon. 118,000 of you did not get X'd out there. Lost about 50,000 or over 60,000. Now, don't let the name fool you. The X-Men have plenty of women involved, including badass Jean, moving on to Q5. Who is this performer? Who is that legend right there? Is it Bo Diddley, Chuck Berry, Lil Richard? Singing skills and dancing skills. All three are legends. He was a pioneer of rock and roll. While he was rocking, his knees were knocking. Doing the duck walk is Chuck Berry. That's who that was right then. You're rocking and rolling onwards to the next round. If you got that correct, 144,000 of you are. NASA once included a song, Johnny Be Good, remember that, on a special album meant to explain life on Earth to aliens. Those ETs were jamming up there, that's for sure. Q6. Which Nintendo game was designed to be used with the Power Glove accessory, Track and Field 2, Bad Street Brawler, Rad Racer? One glove, you don't get two. Rad Racer was too fast for its time. Looking like something out of a bad sci-fi movie, the glove was used to beat up bullies on screen in Bad Street Brawler. And that was a knockout punch, Bad Street Brawler. The answer we were looking for here, 93,000. If you knew that, that was a pretty brutal question. As for Accolades, Bad Street Brawler lives up to its name and was listed as one of the 20 worst games ever. Q7 is halfway, people. Which European country is this right here? Luckily for you, we've got choices. We've got options because we'd be a little lost otherwise. Is it Norway? Is it Finland? Or is that Sweden? It's easy to get them mixed up, isn't it? How well do you know your Nordic nations? If you went for Norway, you went the wrong way, I'm afraid, because it's Sweden. Sweden is the answer, and that was a brutal question. 68,000 if you made it through, though. Now, there's an easy way to remember the geography. NSF, Norway, Sweden, and then Finland. But was that left to right or right to left again? Oops. Moving on to Q8. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth first appeared in what ancient legal code? Code of Hammurabi, Quran, Talmud. Which code can you crack it? All three codes mention the eye concept, but Martin Luther King warned it would leave us all blind. So did Gandhi. Back in 18th century BCE is the code of Hammurabi. That's the code. 59,000 of you cracking it right there. The simple way to say it these days is tit for tat, a.k.a. totally petty because two wrongs don't make a right. Q9. In the early 2000s, fans of what team got together to blow up an infamous baseball, Chicago Cubs, Florida Marlins, New York Mets? Taking things a little too far here, these fans. Baseball memorabilia is usually preserved, but not this time. The cursed ball they blame for a loss to the Marlins is the Chicago Cubs, Chi-Town, baby. 37,000 of you are bawling right now. The ball was exploded, it was boiled, distilled and shredded to spaghetti, and the Cubs have been on a winning streak ever since. Well, they got one at least. Q10. This font's name comes from the Latin name for where? You recognize this font right here? I hope so. Is it the Latin name for Germany, Switzerland, or Scotland? 
You've got to identify the font first and then do the rest. Sort of a two-parter here. If you have one font, you have a billion versions of it. Add serif and sans serif and I am done already. This one is Helvetica, the Latin for Switzerland. Yeah, who's skiing on? Well, there's 25,244 of you are. Well done. Helvetica is considered a neo-grotesque design. Huh, I thought it looked kind of nice myself. The penultimate round is Q11. The idea that highly advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic is named for what author? Ray Bradbury, Arthur C. Clarke, or Isaac Asimov? Arthur C. Clarke, not author. Putting a lit cigarette through your shirt without burning a hole. Now that's magic. But to some, so are smartphones and self-driving cars. Arthur C. Clarke is the author that we were looking for here. And 16,000 of you absolutely nailed it. Centuries back, all our gadgets would have seemed magical under Clarke's law. But nowadays, you should know better. Get out the magic wand. Because we are conjuring up the final round with 16,386 players left in the game. Another 3,000 using extra lives to get back in. We've got $2,500 in the bag today waiting to be won. Go for it, players. It's Q12. What classic Aerosmith single was partially inspired by a Mel Brooks movie? Walk this way. Dude looks like a lady. Back in the saddle. The legendary Aerosmith. These words were a popular pun used in movies dating back to the 30s. The song helped Aerosmith go mainstream in the 70s and was covered by Run DMC in the 80s, inspired by a scene in Young Frankenstein with Gene Wilder and Marty Feldman. Walk this way. This way. Yeah, he told me to walk this way for the win. We've got 10,069 winners. You smashed it. Congratulations to our 10,000 and 69 winners today. You walk this way, you talk this way as well, and you are taking home 25 cents. Yes, you are. We've got Costa at 1027. Lovely couple right there. Look at this HQT right here. Uh, Tay Lindsay, oh, so sweet. Uh, Alex Watsy, what what to you? Uh, Jay-Z Arch as well. Well done to all of you, and you scored a lot of points as well all if you did playing this game so well done congratulations hqts there was nothing but love in this game you came you played you totally slayed i'm sharon carpenter here's where you can find me on the socials as usual stop by let me know how you did today don't be shy say hi and we're back tonight with lord of the rings trivia can you make it through the fiery wastelands of mordor we'll find out just don't wear the ring see you in a few hqts Bye!